You don't need to know a lot about wines, especially when you first start touring. Be open about it. Walk in and say, you know, I haven't been here before. I don't know a whole lot about wines. And if you start that way, it gives that taster the opportunity to open up that first page. Okay, and say, hi, welcome. Let me show you what we do. Tell us what you like and what you don't. That's the experience that you want. All our wines for all our grapes are grown here. This is a nice, dry Chardonnay. You'll usually start with lighter wines and work to fuller. So if they get too much, you can say, that's enough. I, I, I want to go to a dessert wine or something like that. And we'll switch, okay, and go to that. But usually the winery will have a certain order that the wines will taste best in. So if you want to do the experience, you kind of ride with that ride. A simple process of tasting wine, there's the S's. There's the sight, there's the smell, there's the swirl is in there, um, the sip, the slurp, and the spit. Okay, so that's a lot of S's. And you don't have to go through all that. Don't remember that. But it is important to look at it. Look at the color. If it's more brick as a red wine, it means it's got a little more time to it. It's, it's been aged. There's a little bit of oxidizing that's going on. Smell it. Swirl it. And smell it again. That'll give you the aromas of what that wine is doing. Take a sip and lay, let it lay in your mouth a little bit. You're gonna hear me gurgle. That's the next thing I'm gonna do. So that's the, the slurp. So I took a sip, I left it in my mouth a little bit. I slurp through it, drawing air through will open up that, or the aromas get into my sinuses. I can expect, smell it more, taste it more. Um, and then I swallow. Wow. Isn't that neat? It yeah. really brings those flavors wow. out. Very flavorful, very comfortable. Some oak, um, some spice, um, some, some fruit, some, some raspberry, some cherry, a little bit of green pepper. The more you do it, the more you're familiar with foods and with putting the words to the senses. And that's something that takes time. But once you get it, it, it really is fascinating and fun.